Tomorrow's test will also include graphing. Mix and dry with an X and a Y. So, attack your data table, please. Where are you going to put the word mix? You should put it on the X axis. X axis. Mix. Volume of the water goes in the bottom. Look, it shows you mix. This is your manipulated independent variable. Dry. Dependent responding variable goes on the Y axis. D R Y. What is your title supposed to be? The effect. Oh, mass on the volume relationship. All right. So first thing you do is you plot your point. Now it says label your lines. Use different colors as a key. So let's use. Water. This will need red. So let's go. I'm going to do water first. So my first set of points is over 10, up 10. Over to the 10. So you go on the bottom where it says volume. You move over to the 10. And then up to the 10. You don't make this line. I just made that line for you to show you what to do. So over 10, up 10, make a dot. All right. The next one, I have to go over 20, up 20, over to the 20, up to the 20, make it up. Here it is. The next one, over 30, up 30, over 30, up 30. Here we go. Then over to the 40, up to the 40, make it up. Over to the 50, up to the 50, make it up. And now you're going to connect your line. This is water. Water. Let's change colors now, shall we? I'm going to make this the unknown. Unknown. Now let's spell it correctly and that would be a good job. The unknown will make it blue, please. Mix and dry with an X and a Y. Mix and dry. That means the X goes first. 40 go over to 40 and up 20. Over to 40, one, and then up 20. I want to go here. Over to 40, up 20. Do not make this line. I just did this so you can see what I was doing. Over to 40, up 20, make a dot. The next one, over 50, up 25, and make a dot. This is 20, that thing is 25, because in between 20 and 30, 25. Over to 60, up to 30, make it up. Over to 70, up 35, make it up. To the right, up 40, and the bigger part. Over to 80, up to 40, make it up. All right, connect your dots. This is the unknown. This line is lower than water. Do you know what the density of water is, you should know it. The density of water is equal to mass over volume. So the density of water, let's pick a number, let's pick this. The mass is 30. The volume is 30. So the density of water is 30 times over 30 milliliters. So the density is 1. Right, so milliliters. This line over here is lower than water, so I'm going to infer the density is lower. Let's look at the next question, shall we? All right, next page. Next question says, what is the relationship between mass and volume? So let's look at the graph. The relationship between mass and volume is going to be represented in your graph. So I can't turn back for some reason. So you have your graph, and you saw that the line looks straight like this. There are two lines, one like this and one like that. So as the volume, what is the volume doing? The bottom is zero, then it was 10, 20, etc. And then all the way over to the end, the volume is doing what? The volume is increasing. What did we said in class? Generally, the x-axis increases always. So as the volume increases, what did the mass do? Well, the line's going up, so we can make an inference that the mass is also increasing. As the volume increases, mass increases. What type of relationship is this? This is a direct relationship. 
You know from the past, we looked at four different relationships. What is this relationship showing? This is increasing, but the mass is decreasing. So this one is gaining by a lot. This one is doing the opposite of the other. How about this one? The line goes straight ahead. It's staying the same. It's staying stable. This relationship is showing a constant. This can be called a constant relationship or stable. One or the other. Stable or constant. There's no change. The x-axis is changing, it's increasing the whole time, but the y doesn't change, it stays the same. Tell me about this one. This pattern or this relationship continues the ups and downs, the ups and downs, the ups and downs. This is a cycle, and therefore we call it cyclic. The pattern is predictable. All right, let's look at the next question, shall we? What does the slope of the line represent? The slope of the line represents the density. The change in y over the change in x. So you're going to do y over x, which is mass over volume. So the change in the mass over the volume is density. What is the density of the onion substance? Let's try to figure that out. Let's go back to the chart. The density of the unknown substance. So let's pick a point. Let's pick this one, shall we? 30. We use 30 for the other one. So if the mass is 30, the volume is what? 60. Yep, boom. Perfect. The mass is 30, the volume is 60. So what's this? Let's go back. So it wants us to use any point. So I'm going to use mass and volume. I think I want volume first, right? Volume. And then mass. So the volume is 60. And the mass is 30. However, you can't go volume over mass because that's not the correct formula. So let's write down the steps. First step, density is equal to mass divided by volume. Second step, I don't know the density, so I rewrite the density, and I must substitute. I know that the mass is 30. I'm going to write 30 first. I'm going to make a number. Grand. I don't know the volume, so I'm going to write volume next. I'm sorry, I do know the volume. And when I calculate the density, I'm going to spin the calculator for the first. Density is equal to 30 divided by 60, which is 0 0.5 grams per centimeter cubed. Excellent job. All right, let's look at the next one. The next question is not there. Why is it not there? It disappeared. Now, the next question is asking us on your worksheet, you have this worksheet, it wants us to make a line on the graph, a dashed line. That represents a density that's less than the density of water and the unknown substance. So how would you do that? If this density is 1 and this density, the density of water is 1, the density of the unknown substance is 0 0.5. So the lines are going down. So this would be even lower. To make the density lower, you make a dash line to represent the density that is less than the unknown substance. Do you understand that? If I would put it above, then it would be, if I put it up here, this is higher. Put it here, this one is lower. So this is a fictitious line. We're going to infer where it would go. Any place under the blue line would be lower. Any place above the red line would be higher. 